All right, so I'm going to start off with behavior problems. I'm going to do it fairly quickly. And I'm going to do it developmentally because we've got five breeders. So the first part of the seminar is for you. And what I want you to do with this information is spread it around. I think if you take lots of notes, and, and by the way, all of this stuff will be online soon. This is my third to last lecture, my anti-penultimate lecture <laughs> in my penultimate lecture tour. And I'm home for all of August. I'll be writing like a fiend. And the number of blogs on Dogstar Daily will suddenly take off like a rocket. And I've started a new blog at SiriusPup.com, uh, which is a how-to blog. Just simple how-to questions. How can I train my dog to hold it? How can I train my dog to let me know he wants to go? Simple stuff like this. I mean, questions that I wouldn't even dream of asking. That's why we asked our readership at DogStarDaily.com. And these are very, very common questions. So simple, a totally different how-to blog. On DogStarDaily.com, it's more conceptual issues for dog professionals. And included there will be the revamp of our various puppy raising initiatives for the five dog professions. This is what I think you should be doing. And we aren't going to solve this problem unless we do that. And the problem is, oh, shelters filled up with, you know, well, not, not here, but in the States, 60% uh, of the dogs are pits. They're largely inner city pits, that's a problem. It's got to be addressed on its own. And I have a great program I want to start there. Um, Kelly and I go to lots of prison dog programs where the prisoners get to live with, so the dogs come into the maximum security prisons and live in the cells with the prisoners. The dogs come from the Humane Society and they're trained up to be assistance dogs. And these programs are amazing at pretty much um, tanking out recidivism. Once the prisoners have discovered dogs, they don't come back. Um, it's a one strike, you're out program. One thing wrong in the prison, you're out of the program. But just think about it. You're in prison for 10 years and you have the option of sharing your cell with the dog. It's pretty damn cool, isn't it? It produces a lot of caring, a lot of responsibility. And I was actually at a seminar in Indianapolis quite recently and great big man in the audience, enormous guy sitting there. And he stands up and sort of, I say, hi. You know, and he says, uh, do you remember me, Dr. Dunbar? I said, I've heard your voice before. I said, I don't recognize you. He says, well, last time you saw me, I was inside. And my friend, a trainer in Indianapolis, hired two of them. And they are her puppy raisers. And if the breeders want to grab me in the break, I'll try and find a video of what they do. You won't believe it. This is socialization. It's unbelievable, the stuff they do with these puppies neonatally prior to eight weeks of age. And you can take a dog as reactive as, say, a Malinois, Border Collie Cross, and you turn it into a dog that's as bomb-proof as a Rotty or a Pitbull. Just amazing stuff. So these two big guys, the ex-cons, take the puppies into schools, kindergartens, and they just pass around. Little neonatal puppies. Pick them up, put them down, pick them up, put them down, pick them up, put them down. Touch the ear, 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 ear. And then fiddle with his muddle, teeth, 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 teeth. Paw, 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 paw. Fiddle with the ghoulies, ha, 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 give them a hug. Look in their eyes, oh, they aren't open yet, pass them to the left. <laughs> and the dogs get handled by about 20 children in one session. This is what socialization is, okay? Anyway.